The reserve currency status of the dollar uh, to the U.S. has enormous financial and national security benefits. In the wake of Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine, the Fed took action to prevent the Kremlin from accessing more than $300 billion in reserves, roughly half of Ch uh, Russia's reserves. However, this led to an accelerated effort by countries like China to de-dollarize their official foreign exchange reserves. Just last week, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal titled, Russia Turns to the Yuan um, in an Effort to Ditch the Dollar. Not only that, but China's President Xi Jinping published <coughs> for the settlement of energy trade, pushed for the settlement of energy trades in the Chinese Yuan at a summit with Arab leaders in December. <coughs> the question is, um, are you concerned about these actions by Russia and China uh, to push, uh, to establish different reserves and conduct transactions in non-U.S. dollars? So the, uh, the U.S. dollar is the, the widely accepted and really the only serious candidate for, for the world's principal reserve currency. And that's, uh, that's because of our democratic institutions, our liquid markets, the rule of law, and all those kinds of things, and also the fact that the, the dollar has held its value over time. So other countries um, who are competing on other, other playing fields may wanna, they want to establish different currencies, but really the dollar is the one that's gonna be used more broadly in international commerce because we have those aspects and other countries don't. Uh, 